So this is all formatted ahead of time. So now I go to my data merge panel. It says here in the panel, choose select data source from the panel menu. So I'm going to come over on the pop-out menu and I'm going to pick my data source. Remember now, that's the saved out formatted Excel document as a tab delimited type of file. I'm going to go to my desktop and here it is customer testimonials.txt. What happens when this is pulled into the data merge it shows me the header names for the different fields I have within that worksheet. So here's the first step. I'm going to take this data merge header information here and place it into my fields where I need it. Now this is pretty easy. I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to drag it over on top of the frame I have already set up for my pictures and I'm going to let up. And that puts in here a little code with two uh, arrows on either side of the word picture. This is a coding placeholder name. It's going to merge a picture inside of here. Now we're going to do over here, go around this side, and I'm going to highlight the text first name. Just that, no space, just that. I'm going to double click over here in my data merge and replace it with the coded placeholder of first name. I'm going to highlight where I type in a placeholder text of last initial and I'm going to double click in my data merge to put in my last initial um, placeholder. Let me reselect that. There we go, because I had a space before, so no spaces. I'm going to double click. Now you see it's not lining up, but when it does the merge, they'll come back up beside each other, hopefully. I'll double click on title here, and I'm going to double click on title here. It puts in the placeholder. I'm going to highlight testimonial. I'm going to double click here and double click. So now I have the coded placeholders for the data merge in there. I'm going to save. Next is I need to preview this. So I can come down to this lower corner in the data merge panel and I'm going to click preview. Oh, is that not cool? So here I can see one of the records in that Excel database that we set up. And down below here on the bottom, it looks like I'm viewing uh, record six. I'll go back to the beginning for the first record. And I know that picture looks kind of crummy. We're kind of zoomed up on it, and it was a low-quality picture. But you get the idea. Here's the next picture that would merge, and the next, and the next, and so on. So I can step through these and see how the pictures look. Um, I can also see if I have any overset text or anything like that so I can go through my different items. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over in the lower right corner and I'm going to pick create a merged document. Now what we're going to do here is we've got to set up some parameters. I'm going to use all the records that I exported. I'm going to set it up, so I'm going to do, from single record, I'm going to do a multiple records merge. It says this option will automatically generate pages containing multiple records, that's every line in that Excel spreadsheet, every row, using the layout options on the multiple record layout tab of this dialog. So I'm going to go up on top here multiple record layout. Now let's go back in. I'll do a preview. I'll do my multiple record merge and I'm going to do multiple record layout here. Now the nice thing about this is I can now tell InDesign where I want to put these merged items. So let me come down here in the lower right Preview multiple record layout. Come over here in the 
multiple record layout. These are margins. This is telling me where it's going to start the first record from the top and so on and so forth. So over here I have 200 pixels. So let's say I change this to 100 pixels and let's see what happens. I'm going to click 100. I'm not going to hit enter or click OK. I'm just going to hit the tab key so it invokes this command so I can see what happens. So now it moved up every record so it starts from the top of the page 100 pixels from the top. And let's say I want to move this uh, 200 pixels. So I'll pick 200 pixels and I'll tab. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Cancel. Seems strange, but I'm going to hit click Cancel. So I can come back to my Layers panel. And I'm going to turn on my other layers so I can see them. And this will help me guide me on where I position these merged files. So let me put the panels over here a little bit nicer. Let me go to this multiple, create merge document again. I'm going to go to multiple record layout. I'm going to turn on preview multiple record layout so I can see what's going to do when it repeats them. And so now I can see, is this where I want those items to go on this page? And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So just to let you know, I can control the margins from the top, bottom, left, and right. So I actually told it to come over from the left X number of pixels. So let me change this down to 10 pixels and hit tab so you can see it. Again, it's going to move 10 pixels from the edge of the paper here. I'm going to put that back to, let's say, 100 pixels. And I'll hit Tab and I'll check it. So now it's able to put this many on the page. And this is determined by the size of these first two merge frames here. Also, I can control the amount of space between the columns on the testimonials. Let me change this to 100 so you can see how it changes. Tab. So now there's 100 pixels between them. Let's say I want to change the distance between the rows of the merged items. Let's change this to 100 and let's just see what this does. So again, you've got some flexibility on how they're going to be positioned on the page and the space in between the columns of the merge and the rows of the merge. If I set like the uh, space between the columns to 300, this will probably force some of these pictures to be merged onto an entire new page. Let's see. Yeah, so these are actually on another merge page if you were to merge this. So I can actually come down here at the bottom and check my next merged page. But I really don't want multiple pages. I just want one page with these uh, six testimonials on here. So let's change this down to 50 and I'll hit tab and see how it looks. So there we go. I've got 50 on 50. Uh, maybe I'll change it back to between rows of 100 and hit tab. So I'm going to look at this and this looks really good. Now another thing I can do is up here under options. This is great for image placement of those photos going in those frames. I asked InDesign to fill the frames proportionally with the pictures. Then I asked it to center in the frames and also link to the images. And what I'm going to do next is if I click OK, it's actually going to perform the merge. Up here you see an information item come up. No overset text was generated when merging these records. So at this point, I know the amount of data I have in these testimonial frames is not exceeding what the size of the frame is here. 
So you'd have to check that. You'd have to find out what the longest testimonial is and build your frame accordingly and then um, go ahead and build your data frames based upon the maximum you need for all your information. So now to get a little bit better view of this, I'm going to hide all my menu items and all my tools for a second. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to the view menu and I'm going to change my display performance to high quality. That renders all the pictures up so they look great. And then I'm going to change my view one more time to what's called presentation view with an InDesign. Let me hit the tab key and bring my tools back and I'll come over to my um, options bar on top here where it says screen mode and I'm going to pick presentation. An overall look of the document without any tools. I still can use you know my tools to probably zoom in and zoom out a little bit and so on but this gives me the look of it. It does look like I'd like to move these over from this left edge a little bit. Uh, I think they're too close. I'm going to move them over 50 pixels so I'll hit escape I'm going to close this merged document because I don't want to save it. It doesn't look the way I want. And I'm going to go back into my merged document button options here. I'm going to go to my multiple records. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick my left margin. I'm going to set this back to 100. I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to preview how it looks now. So it looks pretty doggone good. And I can click OK to this and we'll see another merge come up.